Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite pieces with you that I've been really loving this summer. We've been traveling a lot this year and pretty much any other place we go to besides Switzerland, it's a lot cheaper and then you get the vat back. So I've picked all these pieces up along the way. If you like the brand Cause, watch my last video because I've bought quite a few pieces from Cause within this last year that I really, really love. They're great basic pieces. This is one of them. So go watch my last video because I shared all those pieces there. They're all great for travel just because they're either black or white essentials. So they just kind of pair with everything. Everything else I will show you, it consists of some clothing, um, some skincare, athletic wear, a uh, pair of shoes and some jewelry and they're from all different brands as always i will link everything down below as well as my measurement okay, let's get into it so first up i've never ordered anything from this company um i ordered this from tala i think i saw it on a girl on instagram or it was like you know instagram ad and this is a matching set so the top is this i believe this is from their 365 line i will link it down below I got the top and the matching skirt. So both of these are in size medium. I would say it runs true to size. It's very stretchy. Guys, when I say this is the softest material ever, I am not joking. It is so unbelievably soft. It's double lined. It's very flattering. So this is the top. So the bottom is just a long maxi skirt. It does not have a slit or anything like that. Uh, again, double line, so it's very thick, it's not see-through. So the top, you can wear it high-waisted or it's kind of, I think, more intended to fold over. It's like a fold over skirt and it looks really flattering. And I believe that they also sell pants or leggings in the same material. It's just a great matching set, great for vacation. It's a type of material, it's really heavy and slinky. It doesn't pill or it doesn't even get any wrinkles in it. So it's great for travel. Obviously you can break up the pieces. So you could probably make a lot of outfits just out of this one set. And yeah, I'm really impressed with the quality. Like I said, I've never ordered anything from this company and this will not be my last. I absolutely love this. So with all this stuff in this video, I will show you, I'll try it on for you. I think with this though, in an additional video that I'll film next, I'm going to upload, it's gonna be all dresses, or matching sets that I really love. It's like a skirt and a top, just because I think that will flow a little bit better. But yeah, I really like this. So definitely jump on this. If it's true to size, it's amazing. They have lots of other colors. Okay, so next up are a few things from Skims. So I just wanted to shout these out in case I hadn't mentioned them before. These are the Skims. I believe they're called the Soft Lounge Top. I got these in a size large. And again, it's almost actually the same material as that Tala skirt that I just showed you. It's very thick and slinky. And because it has quite a bit of stretch, even if you have a larger chest, I usually sleep in these. You don't really need to wear a bra with it, like a bralette. Um, it does have some support and I just find them very flattering. I like the thickness of the strap. Um, if you do wanna wear a normal bra, it covers um, your bra strap. So I got the gray and i also got the black and i love my pajama pants that i have made out of this material or i guess it's the matching set of pajamas really really like these you could wear them out i just usually wear them for sleeping or just around the house when it has been so hot so i would say with those i size up one size from my true size and you know i could definitely fit in a medium or a large but i just i like how the large fits i also wanted to shout this out i got it in the skims sale these are the skims smoothing short and i did get it's like in a light olivey color i got these in a size large they are a bit too big though so i would recommend just stick to your normal size i just never know with skims i usually always size up the first time i order just because a lot of their stuff fits small but definitely um, these are a bit too big around the waist. But I just got these to wear under skirts if it was really hot and you're doing a lot of walking. This short's not super compressive, but it does smooth everything out a little bit. And I have a couple satiny type skirts. So, and I was finding you could kind of see your underwear underneath. So I just preferred how this looked. And yeah, it's very comfy. You could wear it all day long. You could wear it under trousers too. Surprisingly, I don't really have a problem with chafing with my inner thighs, even though I have big thighs. I think because my hips are very wide, um, my legs don't actually really rub. Like maybe they rub a little bit, but 
if you do suffer from that problem, these would be amazing. And they're just so comfy. They're not compressive enough that they'll irritate you. And they're so silky soft. So I really, I really like these. Next up, they're in the wash right now, but I ordered the Skims. I, I believe these always sell out. They're the Boyfriend Loose Pant. I got them in a size medium. They are a bit too big. They don't have a drawstring, so keep that in mind. I would say if you're more shaped, you know, straight up and down, definitely think about sizing down in these. I got mine in the black onyx color. These are so comfy though. They're really, sorry, there was a siren going by. One second. <laughs> Um, they're really, really comfy. They're, they have nice pockets. So that's great. If you're someone, if you just, you know, you like to put your phone in your pocket around the house. I love these so, so much. So comfy. I love skims, lounge wear and pajamas. So I would highly recommend these. These would make a great Christmas gift for somebody. So on the topic of smoothing shorts, there are a couple pairs from Spanx. I wanted to shout out. They're similar to the skims one. So I have a black pair here. And then this beige pair, this is a size large. Um, it's a bit too big though. So I should have got a medium. So just stick to your true size. But again, if you just prefer Spanx brand over Skims, these are great. And again, I got it for under like satiny skirts or dresses for the summer. Okay, next up a few items from Zara that I've been loving. So this is a size medium. This is a long black, um, it's a ribbed dress. I also ordered it in the cream color, but it was not really flattering on me. I think it really washed myself out. And it's just like a long, almost like a long tank dress. The shoulders and the armholes a little exaggerated. And I just thought this was a great basic to put in your suitcase. It doesn't really wrinkle again. Great for vacation. You can dress it up or down. Again, I'm gonna try this on in my next video just to keep all the dresses and skirts separate. But medium, it runs true to size. It is a little bit oversized, but it's meant to fit that way. But I would just go with your true size with this one. And it was very affordable. It's kind of like from their basic line. And then this shirt, I'll see if they still have it. I did get this one a little while ago. Still has a tag on it. It was 35, um, that's francs. And I got a size large and it is like a striped polo shirt. It's ribbed cottony material. It has some hidden buttons right there. And I just thought this was nice for fall. It's cropped and it would just look nice with jeans or black trousers. So I really like that, but I do, would definitely size up. Usually in Zara, anything that's cropped, I do have to size up because I have a larger chest. I don't want it too cropped. Speaking of that, I have a couple of these shirts. I believe the blue is sold out right now, but they do still have white for sure online. So I, okay, I ended up getting these shirts in a size extra large. I got these in London, I think. Um, a couple times ago that we were there. So I tried on the medium, large, extra large. They all fit. I just think because I have a large chest, I really needed the extra large and it also just looked cooler. So I got um, just like the light blue color and I like it because it has the pocket that hangs down a little bit. And these look great with high-waisted trousers or a long black skirt. And then I also got the blue, the pinstriped one. It's a little bit hard to see. I will say for this shirt though, you definitely need an iron. Even though I have ironed it, it gets a little bit wrinkly um, just to really iron the pocket down. Otherwise it will flip up. I've tried just steaming it, but I feel like with these, you definitely, you need an iron, but I love these. And you know, it is Zara. It's not the best quality in the world, but I do really like them. I have worn these so much this summer. They're actually, they're getting a little beat up, just the amount that I've worn them. Okay, next up, I wanted to talk about a bra I got from Lululemon. I believe I got this one in Germany quite a while ago now, um, but I really like it because if you guys have a big chest like me and you're looking for something that's really supportive, this is the one. Um, I forget what it's called, but I'll link it down below. The back looks like this. So it really has a lot of support. It's very strappy, thick. It's adjustable. I, okay, they were probably out of my true size. So I don't necessarily know if this is my exact correct sizing because I think I needed a 34 band width. They didn't have that. Um, I do know when you buy a bra, you're supposed to only wear, um, the clasp on the very end setting. That way, if it wears out, you can tighten it over time. This one I do have to wear on the tightest setting. So I ended up getting a 36 triple D. 
that seems, you know, even though I have a big chest, that seems very big. So I don't really think that is the right size for me. So I would definitely suggest trying this on. Um, yeah, I need to go get measured. I don't know what size I am right now, but I will say it is extremely, extremely supportive. This is just great for running, running or jumping. It's amazing. So next up, I got this jacket um, quite a while ago, actually, from Sisters and Seekers. I got it, I sized up to a size large because I wanted it a little bit oversized. The price was quite reasonable. It's like a faux leathery material. The lining is pretty nice. It's soft. It has a little bit of ruching around the back of it and not at the front. It has pockets. I believe they also have a charcoal gray color. So if you guys were looking for something like this for fall, this is a great piece. I would say this runs true to size, but like I said, I sized up to a large to have a more oversized fit, but I could definitely fit in the size medium as well. Okay, next up, this little tank top. I got this from Wolford, and this is a size medium. I'm usually always a medium in Wolford stuff that I find it runs true to size. I ordered it off of Farfetch. There was a sale going on, and I saw the model had it paired with like a black oversized blazer, and this was underneath. It is a different, it is a different type of material than I was expecting. It's more almost like an athletic type material or like neoprene. And why, why I do like this for vacation though is even though I have a big chest, you don't have to wear a bra under it. So it looks very sleek and then you wear something over top. I probably wouldn't just wear this on the own. It's definitely for me a layering piece, but I just wanted to shut it out. The inside is this color. I'm not really sure why they made it like that, but that's not visible. So it's just a plain black top, but it's a great top. It's like nice and silky. You can dress it up or down and um, yeah, it's just like a great basic piece. Again, it doesn't get wrinkly when you go on holiday. Another tank top I ordered from Farfetch. This was also on sale. I got this from the men's section. This is a Marincer top and I believe I got the medium. Let's see. Yeah, I got a medium and this is a uh, medium men's, but I believe obviously this is unisex. It just has the little moon detail there. It says Marin Serre and all of her stuff usually comes with like a little packing bag. You can't really see, but it's black on black and it has like little moons on it. It's a little bit hard to see though. And yeah, it's just like a great kind of basic tank top. It's really nice and thick, but I just like the little moon detail. I love moons. So next up, a couple pieces from Uniqlo. So I got this when we were in Germany. I just needed another tank top to sleep in. Um, it was pretty warm. So this top is a size medium from Uniqlo and it is one with a built-in bra. And I didn't know if this would work for me just because I am larger chested. It fits so perfect, you guys. It is the perfect thing to sleep in. I'm not really sure if I would wear it out just because it's not that supportive but i am somebody i always have to sleep in a bralette i i hate not wearing a bra so this is perfect it just fits amazing i'm really shocked it actually fits me so this is great i should have picked them up in more colors and if you guys are not aware when you're traveling especially in europe download the global blue app and then depending what country you're in you'll see the requirements to get the vat back so in germany as long as you spend over 50 euros you'll get 19 percent back um you know it goes up to even like i think 25 27 percent for some countries so definitely this made it a lot more for affordable we grabbed a few things there so just make sure that you always do that and get your receipt stamped before you leave the country or sometimes depending on the store you're in they'll do it within the store but these are great. Um, I also noticed on their website, they have other shirts with built-in bras. This is the only one I've tried, but I can vouch for this. This is so amazing. And then recently, the other day in London, it was so cold actually. Um, I had to get a sweater because I didn't even pack a coat. This is from Uniqlo, size large. It is just a perfect gray cardigan. It is so soft and cuddly, you guys. It's not itchy at all. It's acrylic and wool and polyamide. I sized up to the large just because I thought it looked a little bit better oversized. I believe, in my opinion, the gray color and there was a beige color looked the best, but they had a lot of different colors. It's just such a nice layering piece and I actually did not have a gray cardigan, but I would really recommend this one. Okay, next up, two pieces of jewelry. So I have these earrings. Of course, everyone and their mother has them. They're the Bottega dupe earrings. I got them from Amazon. They're nice and light so far. I've only worn them a few times. They have not irritated my ears and I have very sensitive skin. So, so far, so good. 
and I got the silver. I also, in the past, I ordered gold. Unfortunately, they were stolen from the mailbox. Um, but yeah, so I just reordered them again. I think I ordered actually both of these and um, also some other stuff was stolen. So I repurchased this. Um, this was from Revolve. It is a belly chain. It is, I even forget the name. I'll link it down below. I forget the name of it. It's just like a two tiered belly chain. It's really pretty. There's a gold layer and then it's like a crystally clear layer and i just thought it's really pretty for summer to wear with trousers if you're wearing like a crop shirt so next up i have a few things from arquette i love that store we went in london when we were there the other day and you can order online unfortunately here in geneva they don't have one um i think there is an arquette coming to zurich though anyway i got this hair tie i just saw it at checkout i really wanted one of these like large rose or flower hair ties and i just think it looks really cool um, they had black and I believe another color as well. I just thought that this one was really pretty and yeah, I haven't worn it yet. Even if you were just going to a wedding and you wanted to pull your hair back like in a sleek bun, but have this, I think that that is a really pretty idea. So yeah, it actually feels really good quality. So I got that. I also got some other basics there. I got this in a size medium. This is just a gray and my eyes sometimes can't tell navy and black. It, I thought it was navy, but I'm not actually sure. I think it might be black. So just a more fitted shirt because this one I got from Cause is a little bit maybe too oversized. So this one is a little bit more fitted and I thought this would look nice under a black blazer or black leather jacket. I got this black. This was pretty affordable. Again, this is a size medium. It is a little bit too big big so i probably could have even got a size small it is just a long basic black tee the only thing that is a bit different though that i thought was a bit cool it has a very wide sleeve almost like a little bit of a bell sleeve so it just makes it a little bit different so you could tuck it in and the sleeve is baggier and again this is really thick nice material think like those cause t-shirts that i showed you in the last video it's like this and then this I had actually ordered online from them this is in a size 38 I've actually worn it a few times already it's just a nice button-down blouse the sleeves on this are a little bit shorter and wider and then the front looks like this it's a really long the back is slightly longer so this looks great I wore these with my like Norma Kamali the split hem leggings like they're split in the front and i thought that this looked really nice together also would look nice with a white tee or tank underneath and just kind of almost wear this as a jacket for fall really liked this piece um, i got a pair of the adidas sambas when we were in hamburg for the beyonce concert just because i think i had a white pair of running shoes i didn't want to get them dirty so these are surprisingly even though i have a bit of a wide foot they're really comfy, even though they might not look like they would be. Um, I opted for the black ones with the dark gum bottom. And I'm normally always a US size nine women. And these are men's, they're a seven and a half men's US. Or in Euro sizes, a 40 and two thirds. If you guys wanna get these, I would really recommend them. And these look great with like black trousers, jeans, long black skirt i've worn them quite a bit and you know what they're not that bulky so if you pack them in a suitcase they really they can kind of like squish down to not much at all so they're good for that so i wanted to shout out this brush company just because it is so beautiful so i got this at bon Genie here and the company is bon Bros and um has like a nice gold detail at the bottom so you can go on their website and take a quiz as to which one you should buy they have i believe four different brushes as well as mini ones and um i forget what number i think this might be number one and yeah i just wanted a new brush my mason pearson one i think finally gave out that was my favorite brush i had that thing for 20 years it was expensive but i don't know i think honestly something with the bristles had worn out because anytime i brushed my hair there was so much static and that never happened in the past so i think i will repurchase a new one i just honestly think because i used to always wash the bristle bristles too sorry um 
maybe I had like worn out the bristles over time, but I'm like, you know what, if it lasted me almost 20 years, you know, I got my money's worth out of it, even though it was expensive. These are quite pricey as well, but they have different colors. I just thought it was really beautiful. It definitely gives a unique feeling when you brush your scalp with this one. But again, there's all different ones, but I just, I personally, I really like it. It's really supposed to improve the health of your scalp and your hair and um, over time make your hair not as oily or dry depending you know uh, depending what type of hair you have it just kind of supposed to balance everything out I lastly just a few skincare and makeup products um, we were in London I love London so much it's so fun it's just like so many good restaurants shopping the only thing though I don't know how people live there the water quality the air quality is so so bad my skin feels filthy there i start having allergic reactions like a lot of people have really bad eczema i will tell you you go on the subway once there or like the underground and you'll put a q-tip up your nose black comes out black soot i have never seen anything like that new york that happens a bit london though takes the cake so i'm telling you if you live there and you've just got used to it i feel like you really need to clean your skin um, anyway, I grabbed these. I usually always use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. I've had to um, switch up some of my things that I'm using here just because I can't get a lot of my skincare products anymore or it's so bloody expensive. So this I really like. Um, I got this and this is called, it's also by Kiehl's, the Clearly Corrective Brightening Exfoliating Daily Cleanser. Gently exfoliates and helps purify skin of environmental pollutants for visibly improved clarity. It's with white birch and pearl stone. I really like this. Like my skin, just from being there for a few days, it's breaking out really bad. It never breaks out. Um, also too, I've used this before. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. And this will last you forever. You can just even put it in your T-zone if that's where you're breaking out. And I feel like this really kind of like dries everything up out of your pores so i really like all these products i know keels is actually not a clean brand for years i thought it was i think it was just the packaging was tricking me but i actually really like it um i don't think i've really ever disliked a product of theirs and then two things i picked up i usually never try new makeup but i broke some of mine accidentally it fell off the table and cracked so i got the dior rosy glow blush i was using a clean brand from the douglas makeup store here which i really did like i will purchase it again once it goes on sale but i did want to try this i will say the packaging this is the 001 pink shade in the packaging it almost looks neon pink it doesn't go on like that like i have it on right now it's barely noticeable it is very buildable though but i would recommend that um, just know it's not as pigmented as it looks here. Surprisingly, they do not sell Charlotte Tilbury makeup here. I could purchase this online from somewhere. I just didn't know what shade I was in. I wanted just to try a new makeup. So I got the Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless Filter. I really like it. I have it on right now. It just kind of gives like almost like a dewy, nice glow. Uh, so I put this on just with a beauty blender. And then I just put a little concealer on. I have some pimples right now and I really like it. The lady looked at me and she's right, right away, she's like, you need shade number two. So if you think you're close to my shade, number two is what you need. And then for reference, in the foundation I normally use is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm a shade four in this, or shade two in this. And when I look at it, it's pretty similar. This definitely goes on more sheer though. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link everything down below. My next video I will upload, it'll try to be like a try-on of some dresses that I got that I think are really nice pieces. I usually always buy everything on sale. So hopefully you guys can snag some of those items too because they're really good deals right now. And normally I'm someone that hates dresses. So I feel like if I like them, you can like trust my opinion on them that they, they look nice. Okay.